what's going on guys, I'm Enster Maze, here with my review on the latest Pokemon Sun and Moon anime episode, episode 66, Smash with Sketch, the fierce fighting Pokey Ping Pong. With that title now said though, get relaxed everybody, as I will now jump right into this episode review. So the episode begins off with Professor Kukri introducing that Ilma will be given a lesson on Pokey Ping Pong, a sport where you and your partner Pokemon pass the ball back and forth until one opponent misses. However, there's a cool twist, as this is the Pokemon world. Your partner Pokemon is allowed to use a Pokemon move to make the ball go back to the opponent, and hopefully make them miss the shot. Like seriously, that's actually kinda nice. And one final thing I'll say here, is that I love how this episode just dived right into the main focus. Ping pong. Like seriously, no stupid starting scenes whatsoever. Just diving right in. I really like that. Anyway, moving on. Ilma then introduced the rules I just said for you, and helped the classmates out in actual real life matches. Also giving more sweet lessons too, such as telling Sophocles that elegance with your Pokemon is important. And oh boy, later on Ilma is so elegant. <laughs> anyway, after this practice, we then get to see matches between all the classmates, which I will admit, I enjoyed each one so much. Mallows and Ashes had really cool strategies, mostly for Mallow. Lily's and Sophocles was just too cute, due to them both not being skilled trainers, so it was nice to watch them two fail, basically. And finally, we have Kiori versus Lana, which they basically trolled each other throughout the entire match, and I really adored that. The fake scene moves they pulled off too, just made me laugh out loud. Lana was the victor though, but goddamn, just that entire match was so funny. In fact, I'd probably say this first section of the entire episode has to be my favourite highlight, due to how funny it was, and the somewhat fun I felt. Anyway, after this though, the lesson ends, and Ilma introduces that he's gonna take part in the tournament, which the classmates then decide that he's gonna go watch him. And well, basically, Ilma was great throughout the whole competition. The first match we actually see is against Team Rocket in disguise. It was an alright match with some funny moments. This is also where we get to see Ilma's other Pokemon, Smurgle, in action. It basically used the move Sketch, the only move it knows, to copy the opponent's move it just used, which was very interesting to see in the anime. I love how Jesse used Wobbuffet too, as counter works very nicely for this tournament. Too bad Ilma had to copy it though. Oh, and one final thing I'll say for Sketch though, despite it being in the title of this episode, we didn't get to see it that much in my opinion, due to how long the first half of the episode was. But, I won't mind, it's a little nitpick which will make the rating go down a bit, but, yeah. Anyway, I will also mention this, Team Rocket's disguises were easter eggs. Really cool ones too. In fact, there's a lot of easter eggs in this episode, so, you know what, prepare for another easter egg video soon. Here's a link in the icon to my latest easter egg video that I made, but go there after you watch this review though. <laughs> Regardless, my favourite easter egg that we saw in this episode has to be the Versus screen, which is actually the Wi-Fi battle screen we see in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. But bruh, I wish we got that for every battle in this series, much like X and Y. It just feels so awesome and right. <sighs> whatever, I can only hope for the next series. Anyway, going back to the plot, Elma then advances to the final round of the tournament, and goes against a trainer called Dragon Akare, who got introduced earlier, shown to be Ilma's rival and their previous tournament winner. However, he's a big douchebag, because he treats his Pokemon by criticising it and make it work on its own instead of a team. Which of course, this was his biggest downfall, he even blamed his own mistakes on this poor Pokemon. But yeah, Ilma won against him, and taught a lesson to care for his Pokemon after it had saved him from a real powerful ping pong ball, and Ilma's speech. And uh, yeah, that actually ends the episode off. Don't worry though, I'll give proper thoughts on that character later, and uh, damn, just by thinking about it, this is the quickest I've explained the story in a long time. It's that simple though. <laughs> anyway, with it said, let's now move on to my overall thoughts of this episode. Firstly for the story, it was just decent overall to me, nothing too special whatsoever. However, of course, I do have many moments which I do appreciate though, so let's talk about that. I think a good start would be saying that I really appreciate that this episode didn't have the exact same feeling as the Diamond and Pearl ping pong episode, because if you didn't know until now, 
Yeah, we had a ping pong episode. So, I was worried that it would be a complete rehash plot. Except for the release of Ambipalm. But nope, this episode had its own unique moments, such as Pokemon not actually allowed to use moves unlike the Sinnoh ping pong episode, which made for more entertaining moments. And of course, finally, we have the comedy. The comedy played quite a big role in this episode. And to be honest, I didn't mind it at all. I think it's safe to say that I'm finally used to the Sun and Moon comedy, even the over-exaggerated faces. I may not like it, but hey, I'm respecting what the creators have made, not bashing on anything. In fact, even though Dragon Akari had a very exaggerated design at first, I respect a lot for what the creators were going for. They made him look like this intimidating, evil guy, so the audience could identify him as the bad guy, and hopefully make you dislike him due to the actions he did. I found it very clever, especially when he lost that design after seeing his Pokemon save him, becoming a more caring person, also giving him development, which I actually like seeing be added into this plot, even if he is a character we'll only ever see for this episode. But still, you need to give a good narrative to that character, so you can respect what you got. And I for sure did as you can see, he was a very interesting character. You know what? He also kinda reminded me of Paul due to how he criticised Pokemon. Maybe he's a bit more douchey though. But like Ash and Paul, it made for a good rivalry between him and Ilma. That'd probably be my second favourite highlight of this episode. Of course, the classmate matches being number one again. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Dragon Akari. Really interesting how he had a nice visual story told through him, and uh, yeah, just nice development. Uh, we kind of moved from comedy to him, so let's go back to the Sun and Moon comedy, shall we? Of course, as you can see, I liked it a lot in this episode. My favourite highlight having to be the Kiari vs Lana match. Like I said, I just laughed out loud the entire time. Also, props to that scene for being very intense. It was probably more intense than the actual Dragon Akari and Ilma match, due to the fact that we all knew Ilma would win, seeming as he was the only one that entered the tournament out of the Pokemon school, which wasn't really suspenseful at all. In fact, talking about that, I'm done with talking about the comedy for now, the point is I found it good. Regardless, I just wish Ash and the classmates actually entered the tournament, as it would have made for a more fun and interesting experience for me. In fact, like I said, they cut most of the tournament out, so overall this whole factor combined was kinda disappointing for me, even making me like the first half of the episode the most. They could have just shortened it too, to make the tournament feel good progression wise. But, oh well. Let's move on anyway. I have two more things to mention, which firstly I want to say that I definitely agree with this statement even more, that Sun and Moon Sport episodes are basically for contests of Diamond and Pearl, showcases of X and Y, and tournaments of Black and White. I did mention this in a previous review, but I wanted to bring it back up because like, seriously, we're getting so many episodes dedicated to sports now, and I wanted to explain how I feel about it, which how I feel about this is that I actually find it to be a great idea, because schools want you to do sports lesson, or they take you out for sport trips. It fits perfectly for how this is partly a school themed anime. And overall, with all the sport episodes we have seen, they added such unique twists onto them. This one probably being the least unique, but still, I really like how they all work in the Pokemon world. Finally, for this story section though, let's talk about Ilma and his goodbye. It felt kinda nice, and I definitely believe the next time we will see him will be at the Pokemon League, which I guess would be cool. But overall, I did start to like his character a little bit more compared to the previous episode, because once again, I liked the lessons he taught, aka this time, the lesson of friendship he taught to Dragon Akari. It made for cool moments within the final battle, and of course the development we got for Dragon Akari. Very nicely done. Regardless, that's what I had to say for this story section, so let's now move on to the animation and music aspects of this episode. Firstly for the animation, it was nicely made, but my favourite highlights have to be the design of Dragon Akari, I've explained that enough, the sea moves in the Kiari and Lana match were very nice to look at, and finally, these effects. I always love to see them for some reason, can't really explain why though. As for the music aspects though, once again, it's nicely done as always. My favourite highlights happen to be the champion theme in the final battle, it always seems to fit the finale battles, but please Pokemon don't overuse it as I've noticed you keep using it now. But regardless, I also like the Alola Route something remix at the beginning of the episode, it was beautiful. And finally, I also liked whatever the tune was that played during the Kiari and Lana match. 
To be honest, I wish there was a page that would tell me the exact tune names during these scenes so I could be a bit more accurate. I'm sorry. Anyway, regardless of that though, with everything I've said in this video, I've decided to give this episode a rating of a decent 6 out of 10. I wasn't bored, it wasn't nothing too special, apart from the visual stories, but just decent. However, let me know in the comments down below what you actually thought of this episode. I'd love to hear. But regardless, that concludes it for this video now. So if you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and a subscribe for future Pokemon content. It helps out a ton. You'll also become a member of the Entity Squad. For now though, this is Entity Maze, signing out. Thank you for watching.